Frisco has been voted one of the best places in the country to live by Money Magazine. However, did you know it got its name from the trains that run through it? It is named after the Frisco Railroad. I'm on my way. The St. Louis-San Francisco Railroad, to be specific, this was a water stop. That is Bob LaPrell of the Museum of the American Railroad in Frisco. 113 years after it was founded, Frisco still remembers the rails with this fantastic museum. This is one of the best collections of railway history in the country. We have 55 pieces of rolling stock. Those are the locomotives and cars in our collection, ranging from about 1900 to about the 1980s. They also have the largest steam locomotive in the world, known as the Union Pacific Big Boy, weighing in at 1.2 million pounds. However, soon they will be home to a million dollar plus train set. Through the generosity of the Sanders family in North Dallas, um, they are giving us a G scale, which is the large trains model railroad layout. It's a fully operational layout that was built, custom built in his home over his garage. I've got a thing about trains. He is Steve Sanders and the custom built train set that you absolutely have to see to believe. I'll tell you where I posted the video in a moment, but James. Sanders walked me through it and told me when Steve's fascination with trains began. Steve went to camp in Colorado every summer and his mother would take him to Union Station in Dallas, put him on the train, so he started loving trains back then. Steve and Jane owned a hobby shop in Dallas and Steve's collection well was getting pretty big. Ah, but Steve had a vision all along. And one day I said, Steve, what are you going to do with the trains? Two days later, he had the men come in and start getting ready to build it. <laughs> he, he had it in his mind what he wanted. Uh, the, the ceiling is painted like the blue Texas sky with clouds and stars that come out at night. The three-story high seamless display starts where Steve's dreams of trains did in Colorado with a mining town. It winds through New Mexico and a roundabout to change engines. Then you go back over here and you're in the West Texas area. Oil fields, there's an oil well pumping and the station is named after his mother, the Tippett Oil Fields. And of course Steve did not forget his beautiful wife. And then over there is the Mary Jane Station that he named after me. The train winds through a replica of their farm in Corsicana. Then... Here's a really neat town with just a lot of the stuff you've seen in the 50s. The Rexall drugs and the movie theaters and the detail is fantastic. Details down to the tiny little armadillo in West Texas with his own little hole for a home. And let's not forget the old time drive-in. This is uh, an actual drive-in movie theater out in West Texas called the Palador Drive-In Theater. It actually shows movies. Do you hear that whistle down the line? We've been offered a number of model train layouts over the years and have graciously turned them down. This one was just too fantastic to pass up. It's just amazing. Steve Sanders passed away about four years ago, shortly after the train exhibit was completed in the 2,500 square foot, three story high room over their garage. Jane admits she has mixed emotions about the train set moving to the museum in Frisco. It'll be real sad to see it go, but he wanted a lot of people to see it, and you can't just have everybody come to your house. So it's going to work out great. All aboard. What I really like about this is that this was kind of his vision, but now, through their generosity, we're going to be able to share that with everyone. It's kind of his legacy. Big train. The video of this amazing train extravaganza can be found at TexasRoadTripIn.com. And soon you'll be able to see it live at the Museum of the American Railroad in Frisco. Riding the rails with some amazing Texans. We are Texas Road Trippin'. That whistle.